It's difficult to see just how the numbers stack up for Benjamin Netanyahu. As things stand, it doesn't seem that the Prime Minister has a ruling majority. He has no clear path to winning a fifth term as these results come in. Some of the allies he'd been hoping to see return to the Knesset have not managed to cross the electoral threshold. So while the vote count looks incredibly close between his party, the Likud party, and his main rival Benny Gantz's blue and white alliance. When it comes down to the coalition number crunching, Benjamin Netanyahu is in a tight spot. Now, there's been talk of perhaps him joining in a national unity government. The only problem is his main rival, Benny Gantz, a former chief of staff of the Israeli Defence Forces, has said he won't serve if Netanyahu remains prime minister. So he will be under pressure to stand down. We know he does not want to do that. If Benjamin Netanyahu cannot pass some uh, immunity law with his allies in Parliament, he's facing charges on three corruption trials and could well end up behind bars. Catherine, now, when we're talking about the numbers, it does look like the ex-defence minister, Avigdor Lieberman, far-right politician, could be the kingmaker here. Right. Israeli politics is all about the coalition building, and Avigdor Lieberman is set to be a key man, the kingmaker. He said going into these elections that he did not want to serve with Benjamin Netanyahu's uh, religious right, ultra-Orthodox Jewish allies, because he fundamentally disagrees with them about an exemption for religious students serving in the military. And that's turned into a key dividing point in Israeli politics, because as things stand, Lieberman has said that he he wouldn't serve in a Netanyahu government with these religious right allies. So then that raises huge questions about whether Lieberman would be prepared to work uh, with Netanyahu's uh, adversaries, the Blue and White Alliance, but of course left-wing parties as well, perhaps propping them up in a minority government, uh, themselves propped up by votes from Arab parties, which did surprisingly well. So it's going to be about complicated maths, complicated horse trading.